Well, this is a collaborative project that created a software environment for modeling X-ray sources, optical systems, and experiments. Since 2013, the Oasis platform is a versatile, user-friendly, and open-source simulation tool in use in many synchrotron facilities and other research laboratories. In a matter of minutes, user can implant in a workflow diagram the different components sources, mirrors, monochromators, and much more that constitute their beamline or experiments. The typical physical results are power, flu, resolving power, focal sizes, intensity distributions, or current fractions, which can be easily displayed or tabulated. Oasis is a new and powerful software suite that helps in the day-to-day -day work of scientists and engineers using synchrotron radiation. The OASIS project is coordinated by Luca Ribuffi and Manuel Sanchez del Rio and has been created with resources from different synchrotron facilities, UCREF, Electra, APS, ILS. It also integrates well-known simulation packages in the synchrotron world like Shadow or SRW. OASIS is co-financed by the PANOS project from the European Commission and is supported by the US Department of Energy, DOE. OASIS integrates in a synergetic way the most powerful calculation engines available to perform virtual experiments in a synchrotron environment to give a feeling some quick samples. Calculate spectra of synchrotron sources like a wiggler. Calculate the emission of an undulator source. Compute the reflectivity of a mirror or a crystal. Create and propagate wavefronts, for example, diffraction of a slit. Use shadow ray tracing to focus a photon beam using mirrors. Simulate a full beam line with SRW. OASIS is an intuitive, very easy to use, flexible, and rapid tool for interactive simulations. OASIS allows quick definition and comparison of multiple configurations in the same workspace to optimize an X-ray instrument. OASIS also provides a mechanism to communicate among the different packages by sending and receiving encapsulated data. OASIS platform integrates several packages to perform the multiple steps of a start-to-end virtual experiment simulation. One, retrieve the parameters of the electron beam. Two, calculate the radiation from magnetic structure like insertion devices. Three, transporting and modifying the photon beam by the beam line components. Finally, model, if needed, the interaction of the photon beam with a given sample. Google Oasis Synchrotron to find instructions to download and install Oasis in your particular computer platform. Install the add-ons or packages to be used. When you open Oasis in your laptop or another computer, the first thing you will see is a welcome screen to start a new workflow, open an existing one, or explore tutorials. To simulate a beamline, optical system, or experiment, start with a blank canvas for creating or simulation workflow. From the toolbox or add-ons menu, on the left, pick up an application item called widget that is a computational unit to perform a calculation. It represents sources and optical elements as a active visual element. Double click to open it, select modify the parameters and run. Widgets can be linked via connectors or communication channels, input, output or both to make a workflow. There is some data, for example the photon beam, passing through the channels visible as wires. OASIS itself 
is an empty container, while application program interfaces are released as distinct groups of widgets called add-ons, which can be installed individually by users. The main add-ons available in Oasis are the ray tracing program Shadowy, the Wave Optics program SRW, and the multipurpose SOPI the refactor Python version of the popular XOP. Oasis allows a hierarchical approach to simulate X-ray beamlines, and several methodologies with increasing complexity are possible to calculate the relevant parameters that quantify the beamline performance. By hosting multiple tools in the same environment, Oasis allows users to easily compare and benchmark the results. This is implemented by means of an object-oriented framework library, providing the glossary for the definition of light sources and optical components, together with a set of dedicated widgets. This common layer upon Oasis API has been called CNET, Synchrotron Element Dictionary, and it is the base for allowing users to create workspaces with several APIs simulating the same beamline without data misalignment or redundancy, thus separating the description of the real world from details of the calculation algorithms. Oasis can also be run outside its graphic workspace by automatically exporting the visual simulation in the form of Python scripts. To execute OASIS simulations, like SRW for example, in parallel computing environments without advanced programming knowledge, or to provide templates to code digital twins of the synchrotron beamlines as a support tool to the development of applications driven by artificial intelligence. The best way to learn OASIS is to follow the material of the OASIS courses and tutorials available on the web. The Panos a learning platform, you can find an OASIS short course with an introduction to OASIS, some examples for power transport, how much power is transported by the beam and absorbed by the beamline components, photon transport, or how to simulate propagate the photon beam along the beamline using ray tracing, and coherent transport, an introduction to simulate coherent properties in ion generation beamline. The example workspaces can be loaded directly from the internet with the associated URL or from a local copy of the course material. The Shadow Week tutorial explains how to simulate and perform ray tracing calculations for the typical sources including undulators and wigglers, and for a variety of optical systems, mirrors, crystals, etc. Illustrating the basic physics of these elements and how they affect the beam. There is also a lot of material presented in the two OASIS schools held in Grenoble and Arbonne in 2019. There are publications related to OASIS. Some of them describe the main app or some algorithm and libraries using OASIS. In other cases, OASIS has been used for simulating beamlines or systems. Often, OASIS workspaces are available and can help the reader to reproduce the calculations and serve as a starting point to create their own works. OASIS allows a hierarchical approach to simulate X-ray beam. Several methodologies with decreasing complexity can be used to calculate the relevant parameters that quantify the beamline's performance. OASIS uses Python technology it is therefore natural to interface packages written in Python or including a Python interface. OASIS can also export the visual simulations in the form of Python scripts that, in the case of complex and long calculations, can be used into a parallel multicore environment without advanced programming knowledge. The scripts created by OASIS can also run in Jupyter Notebook. OASIS is powered by the user interface of the Orange Code developed at the University of Ljubljana, Slovenia. The OASIS name is indeed an acronym of Orange Synchrotron Suite. OASIS makes extensive use of scientific data format as a HDF5 and use advanced libraries like Silex for visualization and X-ray Leaf for physical interactions of photons with matter. The OASIS developers and experts are happy to answer your questions by email, but it is preferred that you post the questions in the issues entries of the different add-ons in the main OASIS GitHub repository, where you can find sources of OASIS tools.
OASIS also supplies a Python script widget that allows to capture and modify the data transferred among widgets. This is an extremely powerful mechanism that allows the user not only to code simple tasks like creating customized graphics, but also to implement new features in the OASIS workflow. The add-ons mechanism allows to create new add-ons by the users. In this way, several facilities have already extended the OASIS official apps with some customized or in-situ tools. Particularly interest is the Panos add-on, which extends the input-output of ray tracing with the open PMD files. Other simulation packages can be interfaced to OASIS by users. For example, the Wiser add-on created at the Eletra Synchrotron. Looping widgets can help to execute a long series of identical simulations, sometimes required to reduce the statistical noise or to perform parametric calculations by scanning some variables. In conclusion, OASIS is a modern, open and easy-to-use simulation environment for X-ray sources, optics and experiments. OASIS' success is based on the ability to integrate in a synergetic way the most powerful calculation engines available to perform virtual experiments in a synchrotron beam line. It has great flexibility for collaborative work, allowing new widgets and add-ons to be written by users and scientists. The embracement of open source technology makes it a free tool for the synchrotron community and also benefits from external libraries and algorithms. You must try it! <laughs>